Hello and welcome to the series of video lectures on the subject digital techniques for secondary IT students. I am Dr. Srichal Gajbar and in this video lecture we are going to implement 4 to 1 multiplexer circuit by using Verilog HDL language. At the end of this session you will be able to implement 4 to 1 multiplexer circuit by using Verilog HDL. You will also be able to write the test bench in Verilog to verify the module correctness. So the software that we are going to use for the simulation purpose is model sim student edition. It is a free of cost software and you can download this by using the link which is provided here. This is the workflow for our session. We will first discuss the Verilog module for a circuit which is 4 to 1 multiplexer in our case. Then we will discuss the test bench for this circuit for verifying its correctness. Then we will verify the simulation results in model sim finally. So the diagram here shows the 4 to 1 multiplexer. The 4 to 1 multiplexer is a combinational circuit which has 4 inputs and only 1 output. And to select any of these 4 inputs we require 2 select inputs which are represented here using S1 and S0. S1 represent the MSB whereas S0 represent the LSB of the select inputs. And depending on the select combination which you provide here, the particular input will be, uh, so the output will be connected to particular input and that input will be available at the output. So this is the function table uh, which represent the operation. So here you can see for the input combination 0, 0 at the select input, the y is equal to i0. So what is the meaning? That whenever you provide s1 equal to 0 and s0 equal to 0, this y will be connected to the i0 and whatever is available at the i0 that will be available for, for the y which is our output. And similarly you can also see the other input combinations also. So for 0 1 you get y 1. So for 1 0 y is equal to i 2 and so on. The same function table you can represent by using this logical expression. Now let us discuss the Verilog module for 4 to 1 multiplexer. So the model definition will start with the module keyword. Mux 401 is the name of the module and inside the bracket we provide the list of input and output. So in this case I am providing input underscore lines comma select underscore lines comma y. Okay, so input lines comma select lines comma y. So these two are our inputs input lines and select lines whereas we have only one, one output which is nothing but our y. The select line in this case, so since we have two select line, we are going to represent it as a vector. Okay, so this vector, uh, select line is represented as a vector here. So this vector representation is shown here. So here you can see 1 colon 0 inside the square bracket and input is the keyword which represent that the select lines are the inputs. And uh, this one represent that uh, the first bit is the MSB of the select line that is what the meaning of uh, 1 colon 0 in this case. So similarly the input lines there are 4 input lines so that is also represented using the vector in this case. So input space in the square bracket 3 colon 0. The meaning here is that the third bit will be the MSB and the 0th bit will be the LSB of the select lines uh, sorry for this input lines. So here we are defined inputs and the output is defined as output space y. Then output y is defined as a rake data type, so rake space y. The select lines are represented as y data type in these two lines. Why? Because here we are here in these three lines we are just representing what is input and what is output. So input and output we have defined explicitly here and the data types are represented in these three lines. So output is defined as a rake data type whereas the select line and input lines are represented as the wire data type. Then we will write down the always uh, block. So always will be written using the always keyword. Always block is like a while one it is going to execute continuously. So always at the rate inside the bracket we are going to provide the OR operation between 
input underscore lines or select underscore lines. The meaning here is that for any valid input, these input lines or select lines take, this block is going to get executed. Then inside the bracket, we are going to write down the case, right? So case statement. So the case statement will be written as follows. So case is the keyword that will be used. So all the bold letters in this case are nothing but the keywords bold and lower case all these are the keywords of the Verilog so case inside bracket you are providing the uh, select lines which is the select input in our case and select lines uh, how many select lines are there two select lines are there right so uh, we have to define the two bit binary number in this case so the first case will be represented as the 2 dash b 0 0 here 2 represent that it is a two bit binary number dash b represent it is a binary and 0, 0 is the value. So, okay, so the first combination is 0, 0. And we know that for the select line having the value of 0, 0, that is S1 equal to 0 and S0 is equal to 0, we have to assign output y as the i0. So, that is why it is represented as it is. So, it is a vector notation. So, by using the indexing, we are uh, accessing the i0 in this case. So, we have written y equal to input underscore lines in inside the square bracket the index is 0 for i0 right so and so on so for in for the input combination 1 1 what should be the output y the output y should be 3 right i3 so that is why it is written as y is equal to input underscore lines inside the square bracket 3 so this case will end with the end case uh, keyword whereas the module will be completed with the end module keyword so this is the Verilog model definition for 4 s to 1 multiplexer. Now let us uh, discuss the uh, test bench for 4 s to 1 multiplexer for verifying its uh, correctness. So it will also be a module starting with the module keyword this is the name of the test bench that we have given test marks 4 1. Now here the roles of the inputs and outputs will be reversed uh, than its Verilog definition. So, here the inputs will be defined as a rake data type. So, rake inside bracket 1 colon 0 select lines. The meaning here is that select lines is nothing but a vector having the two bits and it is defined as a rake data type. Similarly, uh, output y, uh, similarly input lines are defined as a vector of four bits using the rake data type and the output is defined as a wire data type using wire keyword. So here we are instantiating our 4 s one multiplexer. So mux41 space mo, mo is the name of the object and inside the bracket we are providing the list of input and outputs. Then we are going to write the initial begin statement. Uh, so this initial will start the initial block and there are multiple inputs that we have to provide. So since there are multiple statement we are going to enclose them inside the begin and end block. So, and here you can see the first input combination is, so only few combinations are shown because of the space limitation. You can take, uh, uh, in your actual program, you can take uh, all possible input combination and verify the correctness of your module. So the input lines in the first line are defined as a uh, four bit binary number. So four dash B zero 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 zero. And select lines are defined as uh, since it's a two bit binary number two dash b zero zero, and I have given the delay of hundred units. So I have given uh, four combinations. You can take uh, all possible combinations. So this begin will end using the end keyword, whereas the module definition of our test bench will end with the end module keyword. So before going uh, to the actual simulation, pause the video for one minute and write down the answer of the given question. I hope you have written the answer. So the third bit is the MSB since the input vector is declared as input space. So input is the keyword in this case inside the square bracket three colon zero input lines. The meaning here is that the third bit will be the MSB bit whereas the zeroth bit will be the LSB bit. Now let us see the simulation. I have already written the program. So this is the uh, model definition that we have discussed in the slides. This is the test bench that we have discussed. 
the first job is to compile the program so go to compile select test mux 41.v compile so just check whether your compile is successful or not and one can see that the compilation is successful then our next job is to go to work library go to test mux 41 go to simulate so this window will open here then go to the we have to add the waveform so go to add to wave all items in region here you can see that the select lines as well as the input lines are vectors select lines have two bits whereas the input lines have four bits and there is one output then the next job is to run and since I have only provided the four combinations in the input so only four combinations will be here so let us discuss one of the input combination so for the first input combination uh, the select lines have the value of 0 0 whereas the input lines have the value of all zeros and in this case since test uh, select lines are 0 0 so whatever is available at the i0 that should go to y and since i0 is equal to 0 in this case uh, i0 is equal to 0 in this case you can see y is also equal to 0 in the next combination the select lines have the value of uh, 0 1 so in this case whatever is available at the i1 that should come at the y and in this case you can see y1 uh, input line that is i1 is taking the value of 1 so that is why y is also equal to 1 in this case and in the next uh, uh, in the last combination you can see that the select input is 1 1 so whatever is available at the i3 that should be available at y the i3 in this case is represented as 1 so that is why your output y should also be equal to 1 the same you can observe here these are the references thank you very much